this couple months, like, where is your headspace? Like, how do you feel about yourself? Uh, after these couple months, so this is after the third wave of Corona sure, in yeah, Hong Kong, I feel like I'm starting to, I've, I feel more adjusted to this post-COVID lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, I think that's a good sign because once you start feeling a little bit more so called comfortable with this new lifestyle, you can start to really find new ways yeah. to, to continue living because I think it's really important that um, everyone is stay positive. Also, you're actually doing all the, the yoga tutorial on your, on your, your channels, right? Yeah. That was really good. Thank you. And even like the setup is completely different than the regular, you know, yoga class that you, you, you if you attend somewhere else, right? It's really a lot of the neon yeah. lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah. sort of the, is that that kind of the, the, the setup that you want to do <laughs> even in a regular, if, you, um, if you're going to teach, you've got, if you got, are you going to set it up like that <laughs> or not? Well, uh, that, how that came about was uh, we have a studio yeah. Um, where we were running uh, Fish Tank, our music show. Yeah. And uh, Fish Tank, the concept is kind of, um, it's related to bioluminescence. Oh, bioluminescence. So that's kind of like this natural color that occurs underwater, right? Yeah. So we, we, we found these neon lights that kind of create this fish tank. Yeah. And um, every fish and every uh, coral, they have their own ecosystem, ecosystem. of bioluminescence, right? Yeah. So our concept was uh, every artist comes into our studio and they yeah. have their own light. Yeah. So that was our concept for Fish Tank. And um, during COVID, you know how we all had a lot of extra free time. Of course. So it just, it just, it was just natural that, oh, we have a space here. So yeah. might as well use this for yoga. <laughs> how do you feel about the car so far? Oh my goodness. This car, well, first of all, the steering wheel. Yeah. They put a lot of thought into it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's completely seamless. It's actually really smooth. Oh. So anywhere you grab it, it's kind of really soft to the touch. It's quite high quality leather, actually. So right so, away, you feel a, quite a touch of luxury. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, they always like, I mean, I have to say that hands down to Mercedes always have the good interior, like all the interior is really just really on point and constantly upgrading them. So, yeah, and yeah. then the second thing I noticed when I got in was uh, the seats. Yeah, um, they're, it's pretty hugging, right? Yeah. So it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> and Do you then, actually realize that even you, we open the top and we can still manage to talk to each other? Yeah. That's true. Yeah, huh? and like the other comfortable. That's like, true. So th Usually like our hair would be like flying all over. Flying all over, right? yeah. Oh my goodness. So, and also like, you can actually open the top yeah. when, like even it's, it's moving, as long as under 50 kilometers yes, per hour. Yes. So it's kind of like, you know, pretty convenient for Very us. Like convenient. you don't have to, you know, stay on the side, stop yeah. somewhere and open it, yeah. and close it, whatever. It's such a beautiful drive. And like, where else in, in the world that you can drive five minutes from the city to like somewhere in the countryside, right? right? Yeah. And when you get here, if you can, you know, pop the hood, yeah, enjoy the sea breeze. That's that's this is really lucky. I yeah. feel. Yeah. So the car actually comes with an L4 engine and 184 horsepower. So basically, not a problem to yeah. you know, go uphill, whatever it is. Yeah. So. Basically, oh, yes. yeah, you did a you did a you did a try on the sports car model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can see I can feel the difference. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's quick, huh? It's quick. It's very sensitive. There's a, a lot of other cars yeah. between the drive modes. Yeah. There's not a really significant difference. Oh. Like you know, like a lot of other cars, sport mode and comfort mode are kind yeah. of similar. Similar. But I just now I could feel a really big difference. Yeah. And uh, that's nice because. Uh, I guess that's what you're paying for. <laughs> I guess you, so. You want to feel a difference. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. So Jonathan, when did you get this car? Well, actually it's during the lockdown, but I actually managed to get a car online. Yeah. So basically, I just drove through my tablet that day and just, you know, it's like a virtual showroom here. Whoa. They have all the car listed out. Basically, if you like, in the showroom, you just pick whatever, which car mm. you want to see, tap into it. Wow, that's so convenient. Yeah, and then you just like reserved it, and then 
you just need to pay around $500 as a deposit and then someone's going to contact you and you actually make the rest of the procedure online or call on call. Uh -huh. So it's quite really, really smart way to, you know, work together with, you know, to me to want to get a car. It's just all on my fingertips. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's such a new and innovative way. Yeah.